There's no federal definition for regenerative agriculture. There is no state level definition for regenerative agriculture. It's an adjective. What do you have to do to be regenerative? Not plow. I gather the big thing is not plowing. They'll accept chemicals to get to no-till and the organic people would prefer to till very skillfully and less, but they accept tillage over the use of herbicides like glyphosate. If tilling is bad, you couldn't prove it by this farm because this farm wouldn't be here if we hadn't spent 50 years mixing organic matter into the non-existent soil we had to start with. So this idea that tillage is the one practice that's the worst practice you could do, I mean, let's think about where that came from for a second. Like, to attach the word regenerative now to the one thing an organic farmer will never walk away from. I mean, is that coincidence? I don't know, but it's striking, isn't it? So when regenerative is saying, oh yeah, you know, these herbicides that are, you know, wrecking American agriculture are part of our regenerative system. I mean, that's like you know, ridiculous. And now the USDA started this grant program called the Climate Smart Commodity Program. This is an enormous opportunity to, to shove agriculture in one way or another. If it goes down the path of phony regenerative, uh, that'll be a tragedy. The companies that have, were the big winners, in, in the 2.8 billion. Man, let's hear it. Cargill, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Target, JBS Processing, Syngenta, ButcherBox, Campbell Soup, Hershey, Land O'Lakes, Nestle, Walmart, Kellogg's, Danone, Tyson, Bayer, McDonald's, Purina, Purdue, Costco, Frito-Lay, Mars, and Unilever. Here is my issue with the current I don't know, call it version 2.0 of, of these carbon markets. Somebody somewhere has to reduce their emissions. We worked with one of the carbon markets early on and we're told that we're too complex to model. We've certainly been able to improve soil organic matter, which is carbon, you know, over a period of time with a system using cover cropping, um, compost, diverse rotation and tillage by introducing new roots and compost and microbes, gets down to that deeper layer of the soil and you build a bigger carbon bank on an organic farm. I think the only reason we think organic is not climate friendly is it's a new word climate friendly. Put simply, is an emergence of conventional no-till agriculture being billed as a regenerative climate smart solution and potentially another generation of corn and soy um, having its way.